Hey, this is Frank Yosa, CEO of Ketonade, and today I want to go over the differences between KE4 and KE1. First off, this is a little bit of leftover COVID hair. I'm starting to get roots. Never had that experience before in my life. Anyhow, so this is our flagship product that we came out with first, KE4. Uh, it is 50% ketone ester, so it's very, very concentrated. Um, but what we found was that people were taking just one or two capfuls. The average person was taking 10 mLs worth, so one capful, one sixth of a bottle. They were taking that uh, as their daily routine. So what we did is we made a new product called KE1 that is far more diluted and it has the same impact as 10 mL. So two capfuls of this is about one cap, uh, one entire bottle of this, not a capful, the entire bottle. And let's go over the breakdown. So this is 60 mLs. Oh, by the way, we did upgrade the bottle. Uh, it was a metal bottle and it would only fill up to about here. Now we have a bottle that's more uh, appropriately sized. It is plastic, but it also helps with some leaks. We had some leaking problems, you know, with this one. So this is the uh, the newer the newer bottle and it's 50% ketone ester, so 30 grams of active ketones in it. And this is only five grams of active ketones. But when we're comparing what is KE4, what's poured out, it would be 10 mLs of KE4 is equivalent to one bottle. So the five grams is actually, instead of just being ketone ester, it's mixed into a high level explanation would be half ketone ester, half ketone salt. But if we go a little bit deeper into it, uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So it's 50% ketone ester, so 2.5 grams of the ketone ester. And then the ketone salt portion, it's all, by the way, it's all the D form. So none of this racemic stuff, so don't have to worry about that. It's still the D form. But the ketone salt portion, we actually extracted 50% of the salt. So it's technically 25% of what's called free acid, beta hydroxybutyric acid. Um, you can't drink this by itself because the pH is just too drastically low. But in a combination with other, you know, other ketones, it works quite nicely. So it's 25% of the free acid gets in your system you know, very fast. And then the other 25% is D salts. So a mixture of four different salts. So sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. The sodium is 135, potassium 135, calcium 39, and magnesium 59. Now, some people say, oh, well, the ketone salts, I don't like the ketone salts, they don't work for me. This has 85% less total salt than the racemic ketone salts on a gram, on a salt per gram of, of DBHB. And even the, the non-racemic salts, like Prove It has a non-racemic salt, 75% less salt on a gram per gram basis of ketones. So it's just drastically different. So even the people that have complained saying, oh, I don't like ketone, I don't like ketone salts, they make me bloated, this and that, they've had no problem with it. They, they've actually liked it. So it's also made with, uh, it's all natural ingredients. It's naturally produced as well. People think that ketone esters are synthetic and ketone salts are uh, natural. It's actually, Wikipedia is wrong. It's the other way around. It's fermented process. It's an all natural process. But instead of for the, for the flavoring, instead of using stevia, we actually moved to monk fruit. That was voted on our Facebook group, which I hope you will join the Facebook group. Um, and on that Facebook group, people said that they preferred monk fruit. So instead of even doing the combination, we just went with monk fruit and as little of it as we possibly could. So it's much, much more palatable. Even with the KE4, even if you were to dilute it, eh, it still was pretty harsh. Even if you put in 12 ounces of water, it just makes the entire 12 ounces bad. This one you could actually put in 12 ounces and it'd be, you know, actually pretty good. Or you can take it straight. It's a little bit on the, well, it's not nearly as strong as KE4 but it's even better than KE4 diluted because the ketone ester is the harshest flavor, but then the, the free acid actually counteracts that. It's like a bitter versus sour uh, combination and the salt counteracts that as well. Um, so when would someone use one versus the other? First of all, this is much more convenient to throw in your bag, not have to pour out different uh, amounts. Um, and I've been telling athletes that are using KE4 that they need to add electrolytes anyhow because it, just like a ketogenic diet, you could lose a little bit extra water and with that can go more electrolytes. So I've been telling people, hey, whatever electrolytes you normally do with the KE4, you know, add 10%, 20% more. Well, one benefit would be that this already has that in there. So it has the extra uh, electrolytes. Again, 75, 85% less than all the ketone salts. So don't even get confused 
with that. So it already has the electrolytes in it. It tastes much better. And we've tested, uh, we've tested people's blood on a gram per gram basis, and it has risen the blood ketone levels exactly the same as KE4. So don't worry uh, about that. Some people might prefer to have both, one super concentrated for certain events, and then uh, having the KE1 you know, for other uses, maybe they want the KE4 before bed, but there's very few instances I can think of that the KE1, I think 80% of our customers are gonna switch over to KE1. Um, the only time that KE1 might not work for someone is if they're doing super large amounts of KE4. So if you're taking one or two bottles a day, then that would be uh, a couple dozen of these and then the salt load might start to add, start adding up. So that'd be the only downside that I can think of to someone taking this is if they needed uh, large, large quantities and they didn't need that that extra salt. So that's pretty much the difference. Um, yeah, zero sugar, zero caffeine. Watch all the other uh, videos about combining it with caffeine, things to watch out for there. Um, you can email me directly, frank at ketonade. Dot com and if you are on Instagram and stuff stuff like that if you order one love to see posts make sure to tag us and that's it that's the difference between KE1 and and KE4 thanks